Hi guys, in the previous uh, grief prevention effectiveness video I, I showed you how in sort of a test, an idealized test environment, um, you know, with, with everything claimed, it was, it was pretty much impossible to, to grief uh, a player's claimed area. And so I wanted to start the administrative bit by showing you guys how well grief prevention actually works uh, out in the wild. So here I'm on a live server, it's a public server, we've uh, uh, advertised it on uh, Planet Minecraft. We've uh, bumped the uh, Minecraft forums thread a few times. We get a lot of people in here that we just don't know. And uh, just to show you how great this works, you see this really cool um, smooth stone pyramid temple thing here. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. Looks really nice. He's even got some nice little figurine dudes uh, out front, statues. Uh, if you look right over here, this glowstone post, that's actually the, the, the world spawn. So that means that, you know, all those people that we don't know, all those griefers and the jerks and the spammers and, and even, you know, the occasional nice guy, uh, they all portal in right here. And the first thing they do is run over here to this temple and check it out. And as you can see, uh, this thing's been up like a week and a half, and he has had zero, zero, zero problems uh, with griefing. This, uh, this stuff right here is actually not part of a grief. He actually built a temple on top of one of those uh, ravines. Huh. So there's that. Okay, here I have an example of what happens when a player doesn't watch the whole four minute long video. I know that's oh so time consuming. And they don't really know how grief prevention works and they don't use it correctly. Uh, the reason this house looks like a piece of junk is because the griefers actually got hold of this thing. But what I want to show you is how good the newbie protection works. So this player obviously didn't know how grief prevention works. He wasn't able to correctly protect his house. But uh, even though he didn't know what he was doing, when he placed this first chest, he got his newbie claim right here, see? And so now... Uh, I can look in his chest here and you see his stuff's still here, his bed's safe, and the area right around his bed, it's all safe, right? So they, while the griefers could wreck the outside of his house and get a few wood plank blocks, they weren't able to eliminate his spawn point and they weren't able to actually steal any of the stuff from his chest. So while he may be disappointed that they broke the outside uh, bit of his house, his most important stuff is safe. Now administrators that have the admin claims permission have the option to create special land claims that are uh, sort of intended for the general public rather than belonging to a specific player. Uh, what makes these administrative claims different is that uh, basically all players have access to the claim. That means that they can use the buttons and the switches and they can open the boxes, but they just can't actually place any blocks or break any blocks within the claim. The way that I create a claim like that is I get out my shovel and then I type slash admin claims. That puts me in administrative claims mode. And then I create it like I would any other claim. I just right click at one corner and then run over to the other end and right click again. Because this is an administrative claim, it doesn't belong to me personally and it doesn't take any of my personal claim blocks to create it. Uh, also, I won't use the, the trust family of commands to regulate permission uh, within this claim. Instead, anyone who has the ability to create an admin claim through that admin claims permission also has the ability to uh, resize or build within this claim. Okay, so up next I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Restore Nature functionality. The idea behind the Restore Nature feature is that uh, it's a really easy way for you to undo grief. Uh, the, re the relatively few uh, griefs that uh, manage to slip through the preventative measures uh, you can very very quickly clean up with this uh, powerful restore nature tool. So what you do is uh, you get out your golden shovel and then you type slash restore nature that puts you in restore nature mode and then you just right click on the chunks that you want to clean up. So here in front of me I've got an NPC village. I chose this because it's, it has a, a, a good mix of different building materials and uh, I'm just going to try to bring this back to its natural desert state and the way I do that is I point at the stuff that I don't like and I just right click. See I'm just kind of wiping it out and bringing it back to a uh, normal desert uh, layout or environment.
Okay. Uh, this is very, very safe to use around claimed areas. Uh, to prove that to you, I'm going to create an administrative claim to cover, say, half of this house here. So I'll start the claim there and go over there. And you can see that the claim doesn't cover the entire house. It leaves a chunk out of the back. So what I'm trying to show you here is that when I go into restore nature mode, if I right click on the claimed area, it's going to tell me, hey, there's already a claim there. So that place is protected and you can't, uh, you can't restore nature there. But if I restore next to it, watch what happens. You see, I can restore around it, just not in it. So the piece of the house that was not protected has been wiped out. Okay, here's another grief you may see on occasion. Uh, I, griefers think it's cool, I guess, to create some very unnatural looking single block wide uh, tower. And this is very easy to clean up with Restore Nature. I just point and right click and it reduces it down to just a single block, which I can very easily clean up on my own just like that. Uh, something else you might see, uh, this isn't really a grief so much, but uh, players who aren't careful with water can make a mess. Uh, you probably already know that if you take uh, water from a shallow place, it will replace itself. It fills back in. But if you take water from uh, a place where the water is deep, then it doesn't completely fill back in and it leaves these surface ripples. And that can also be uh, fixed with Restore Nature. So I'll just right click that and it's fixed. Okay, here's a relatively innocent construction. Somebody started building a platform in the water, right? And um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this in itself, but if a griefer does come over here and uh, do some damage and remove, starts removing these blocks, uh, the result is something that's rather difficult to clean up manually because it leaves this sort of weird, unnatural hole in the water, like a, a water crater or something. And uh, Restore Nature will also take care of that for you. So if I just hang back here and right click, and clean that up really easily, just like that. Got just a few more messes here that we can clean up with Restore Nature. Uh, here you see a dirt wall. A lot of players will do something very lazy and build a fence out of a wall. And if you want to take that down after the fact, uh, Restore Nature is smart enough to recognize that the dirt here is not in like a natural uh, shape, and so it'll take it down just like that. Uh, similarly over here I've got some single block wide trenches. That's very uh, strange and unnatural so I can right click on that to clear those up. And finally over here you see sort of speckled single block holes. There are actually custom uh, griefing clients out there which have a feature that as you walk around it just breaks holes in the ground at random like this just to ugly things up. So uh, that'll also get good, good and cleaned up with uh, Restore Nature. This one is not cleaning up. Why? Ah, there it goes. Okay, I think also most of this water here will also be cleaned up. Yeah, so that's nice. Of course, this isn't restricted to just uh, griefs done by players. Anytime you see something unnatural, it's probable that if Restore Nature can't fix it, it'll at least improve it. In this case, you see a bunch of stone just sticking out of the ground in the middle of a desert. If I right-click on that, the stone bits will be covered up with uh, sand. Make everything a lot nicer. Sometimes you may notice the world generation doing something very strange, like putting blocks floating in the air like this. You can also use Restore Nature to clean that up. Just kind of right-click what I don't like, and it'll get fixed. Uh, similarly over here, again, we have another example of uh, gravel and stone kind of sticking out uh, rather strangely in the middle of a hilly field. So I can just right click that and uh, all that stuff gets converted to grass. Pretty it up really nice like that. Just about the only thing Restore Nature can't fix is a giant crater. So uh, when in doubt just give it a shot. Remember it's, uh, it's really safe to use because it's not going to wipe out anybody's claimed area. So anytime you see something that looks a little strange just get out your uh, pretty stick here, as I like to call it, and start right-clicking on whatever you don't like. Clean it up really fast. Enjoy, guys.